David Tracy, uh, nice little morning here in Kula. Uh, Huawei is, is uh, getting involved and in having this uh, training academy day for for the youngsters out in Kula. How important is it? Yeah, ma like really, really important. Um, you know, at this age, they're learning so fast uh, all the skills of the game, and having been able to bring senior players back to give back to the sport that they've given us is really important. Um, it's good for the club and uh, and the morale and, and and you know just the atmosphere all about. It's brilliant, yeah. And when you were a young lad, did you have anything like this or was it far sparser numbers? No, we had one ball in a hall, 20 lads fighting over us. <laughs> we had to walk five miles in the snow to get there. Uh, no, look, it, it, it's gone from strength to strength. We were the second year of the academy. So again, you can see the numbers, obviously. A lot of populations are growing this, this side of things and, and we're glad to be part of it. <coughs> a lot of young players and young kids are, are, t are taking part in hurling. Mm. Um, that, that poor mountain you're there saying about we had one ball reminds me of my mother she said when I was a, when I was a child I had one tie and it was a stick. But, <laughs> <laughs> well, but anyway like this is very important and even having Huawei involved as well because there is a like there's a huge population and you do want to make the most of it and get a lot of hurlers through here. Yeah 100% and like I mean it doesn't happen overnight and it does take you know support from the sponsors and brands like Huawei and um, you know, given that opportunity, as we would have chatted beforehand, like I mean, as a senior player, you'd rarely get a chance to come down and coach the, the younger teams. Uh, and getting that opportunity is brilliant. Um, and you don't, we don't realise the impact that it has on the club, which, which is fantastic. Uh, and seeing that they've come to our matches, they've been freezing in Croke Park, they've been freezing down in Port Leash, they're travelling all about the place supporting us. So it's a great opportunity for us to be able to give back and, and be able to do our part to, to, to bring on the next generation of, of hurlers coming through. So just to reflect on your own year with Dublin, it was, it was, there were a lot of injuries for you, so from a personal level it was probably frustrating. Yeah, it was. Uh, it, it was at the timing of it, like um, because at the beginning of the year I was, I was fine coming back. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Planted that. Yeah. Um, the beginning of the year, obviously I was in a good position and just the timing of it all happened just towards we were playing a friendly, a, a friendly match against Leash, <laughs> funnily enough. Um, and it just—it was at the very beginning, just before we were about to kick off from championship. So I spent the whole championship trying to chase it. So priority now is just get it right over the next couple of months. Obviously, we have club championship, and give it another go next year, and ho hopefully get a better, better, a better run out of it for myself personally. Yeah. And uh, like, how much? What's the difference between playing with club and playing with county few? Because the last couple of years had some great runs with the club, and you know, it's very much like just a very tight knit um, sort of an environment as well. Because everyone mostly just sees you playing with the county. So I presume you enjoy coming back to. The the club. Yeah, look, it's amazing. Uh, again, you, like I'm playing with my brother. You have the O'Callans, the Shootes. Like it is, it is just a. It's a group of mates, like just just playing, and it is that tight knit group. And I think because we've been so together for the past three and four years, that's only gotten tighter. I think you'll agree yourself, mm. Shane. The madness and the stuff. Got, we're nearly a bit too familiar at times. But um, look, there's nothing like it. Um, you know, growing up with a group of players. Hopefully, these kids in the background then will have get to experience what we got to experience because it was fantastic and one of the best like experiences of my life. Like. So your run for All-Ireland glory didn't happen this year with uh, Dublin, but your girlfriend Sinead Goldrick, she's got an All-Ireland looking for a three in a row with Dublin as well. Are you very excited about that in the ladies' final? Yeah, of course. Uh, like uh, Every year, I mean, sh you get to see what she puts into it every, every single... Like they put in, if not more, without getting as many as the plaudits as the men. Now that is changing. You see campaigns like 20 for 20 and things like that, and the attendances and the matches are going up. But the work she puts in is is amazing, and and, and being you know even somewhat part of that is good if I can help in any way. Um, now, obviously going for three in a row is massive, so hopefully they get over the line. So I'll just be there supporting as you know as well as, as well as I can. So you'd probably be a GA power couple. Do you have like a Brangelina type name, Shenavid or something like that? Shenavid, we've toyed with that before. Now, well, I don't think I think the power's fairly skewed at this stage, <laughs> Shane. If I'm being honest with you, so I wouldn't I wouldn't say that at all now. So six all stars between you. How many do you have? Uh, I, have a, <laughs> I have a club one. <laughs> so zero. If, if you're, a, I know you're not good at maths. So zero. <laughs> but like when you're watching her out playing, like obviously she's faster than you. First of all, that. Like, yeah, I and refuse to do any. I refuse to do any sort of preseason stuff with her, just in case I get absolutely, I'd be eating her dust, you know. <laughs> she's normally one of the best players on the field. Do you get nervous when you're watching her because, like, she's obviously very, very good? Um, I suppose, I suppose anyone that that's close to it, I get nervous about anyone like with, with skin in the game, and uh, I suppose way worse. Like, I'd much rather play a match than go have to watch a match where you're supporting someone that's close to you. You know, um, my parents, my mum can barely watch any of the matches I play, especially if I'm hitting freeze in, a, in big games. So it's 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 very nerve-wracking for anyone. You know, pretty stuff, David. Appreciate. It. Thanks, Shane.